Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a BMW guys Z4. We will show you guys how to test crankshaft position sensor and it will work on any engine, four cylinder or uh, six cylinder gasoline engine guys. How to test camshaft position sensor. Practically it's almost the same for most BMWs guys, but we'll demonstrate and explain if you have a Z4 because many of you asked us in the comment section below. That's why we're making this video. Before we start guys, quick introduction, every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because <coughs> our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can guys all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information if you need to buy guys replacement sensor parts tools anything like that check out the links in the description of the video below we will share them for your convenience let us show you guys okay what do we have here now this is n52 engine this is a six cylinder gasoline engine for any of you guys that have that engine you can find it in bmw 3 series 5 series x1 x3 x5 z4 and multiple bmws guys if you want to see how to replace and get to the crankshaft position sensor we have the complete video on the channel that explains that so make sure you check it out guys but this is the sensor okay right here crankshaft position sensor that's what it looks like now before we get to the testing let us explain how to uh, find out which wire is uh, uh, which wires you need and how to find out that because some generations okay may be different but uh, the procedure will apply to multiple generations guys z4 so uh, how you find out the wires now first guys you're going to have black wire which is a little bit thinner wire in the middle okay this is known as a ground wire usually guys ground wire now then you have two more wires one of them is ignition wire when you turn your ignition switch on you will get 12 volts on it and the other wire will be a signal wire that sends the signal from the crankshaft position sensor to the engine computer and it, you will get about 5 volts in it so we'll go ahead disconnect the sensor okay and let's go ahead and remove it guys and we'll show you how we're going to test the wires and know which wire we need to test guys because your wire colors may be different guys okay and we're going to get the voltmeter and we're going to probe them right here and we'll find out which wire we need what you need to do next go inside your bmw z4 turn the ignition switch on until you see the dash lights but do not start the car now if you have a push start button push the start button until you see the dash lights without pressing the brake pedal that way the car will not start guys so we'll get a uh, voltmeter guys we'll set it 20 volts okay we're going to set it down here perfect we'll get the sensor okay and <coughs> we're going to touch guys okay we're going to touch the uh, negative black lead on the negative wire that's thinner and black in color usually the red lead on the orange uh, uh, wire usually on the left side and we get 12 volts this is the ignition wire guys now if we apply okay again the black lead in the middle on the ground wire and the red lead on the yellow wire we get five volts this is the signal wire that we need that's the wire that we need guys at that point you should turn your car off make sure the ignition switch is off ours is not we're going to plug the sensor all the way in we peel the wire a little bit that we need that's the yellow wire but i recommend not to peel it guys there is a special device that you can clamp to it and we will share the link in the description of the video below we're going to touch the red probe to the wire that we peel black pop put it on ground wire okay put it on ground anywhere on the engine that way you don't have to peel your ground wire on the sensor and you should get five volts okay five volts on the uh, on the voltmeter now if you get a bit metal too next to the sensor your voltage if the sensor is working correctly will drop to zero close to zero check it out now now five zero check it out now okay zero five zero five zero five so that's a good working sensor guys that's how you can test it on a bmw z4 hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time